Hi and welcome to CC CC TV Food. There we go, a little, intro, little introduction. Hi and welcome to your first instalment of CCTV uh, CC Cooks. I'm your host CC and today um, I will be teaching you the secret recipes of um, Moroccan home cooking. Stress. I must stress that all of this, a lot of this stuff is just my home recipes but I just make it up as I go along so if anybody's like Moroccan and they're like you don't do it like that it's my show honey and I do it how I want okay <laughs> Only joking. I'm doing a soup which is traditional to um, Morocco it's called Harira which is really nice beautiful if you're sick winter time also good to break your fast with um, I can't have Ramadan without it personally so yeah and with that you can make it a vegetarian option, really, really nice, chickpeas, uh, lentils, any, all that kind of good stuff. Or you can do what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a lamb, a lamb. Uh, yeah, so I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe, send and subscribe. So yeah, uh, basically follow me. This is what you need. Right. We need, that right there my friends, is salt. Black pepper, this is turmeric, this is paprika, and this is called Ras Al Hanout, which is Ras Al Hanout. You can get it in any supermarket. It's a Moroccan seasoning, and literally this will go in everything. And if you can't find it, it's got coriander, paprika, turmeric, cinnamon, cumin, ginger, black pepper, white pepper, cayenne, salt, pimiento, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, and aniseed. And this is literally the basis to every every dish okay so what what we have here we have some meat you can have lamb meat chicken whatever or even a vegetarian option this here is um celery you've got some chickpeas you have you some tin tomato or tomato puree and here we have one onion uh diced and one onion um one onion grated and this here is oh, coriander oh, and oh, this here is uh cctv food cc cctv follow me i'm gonna teach you how to cook with rocking no very hard you just gotta follow the instructions but that's kind of what it looks like then we're gonna add the water i'm gonna show you how much water to add in a minute i kind of just want to cover the meat or you won't need to do this process you'll just brown off the onions and then obviously add your chickpeas your um everything else that you kind of need uh, you know any any sort of meat substitute that you'd use like chickpeas or lentils are really good um, I wouldn't really advise putting carrots or anything like that it's not really that kind of vegetable soup it's more of like a pulsy soup so once the meat is, uh, is cooked in like an hour or so you can taste it see if it needs any salt any pepper blah blah but with, during that process we are going to add um, the chickpeas later on the uh, the celery later on and also the um, tomato puree as well which is going to thicken it but right now we're just going to we're just going to leave that to simmer we're also going to add the chicken stock you can use vegetable stock you can use beef stock whatever it is that you want to use i'm using beef so i want to alternate it and use a chicken stock just to give it a little bit of a different flavor so yeah see you in a bit see leaving them on a low to moderate heat low to moderate heat on the middle ring medium ring Just make sure it doesn't dry out keep checking on it adding water and i'm going to give this about an hour and a half really for the meat to cook uh in about an hour i'll add the i, I shall add the celery and then uh at the very last minute maybe 10 15 minutes before add the chickpeas maybe longer and then at the very last minute you want to add the um noodles the vermicelli noodles that are broken down so that it's just like that is saying to me i believe it's ready to start putting the tomato puree and stuff in there now tablespoon one tablespoon of tomato puree color the, the, the lighting's a bit wrong here but this is quite red it's quite a ready soup obviously the meat is there the onions it's got loads of good stuff in there but that's still got to cook down um gonna add a little bit more water just so that meat on the bone that's what I'm waiting for to cook because this is really well seasoned the more water you add it's only gonna bring more and more of the uh, beautiful tastes out so now I'm gonna add the uh, celery as well which is a key ingredient it really does add 
a, a different dimension to the soup. It's almost, yeah. So, here's celery, as I said before. Right, so now, as you can see, I've added a lot more water, maybe three quarters of the way up. And I've had a little taste, because obviously the meat's the meat now, so let's have a little taste. Oh my gosh, yeah, this like an hour, an hour and 15, maybe, yeah, hour and 15, maybe half an hour, an hour and a half, into it. It should be looking something like that. When the celery starts to go see-through, that's when you can add the chickpeas. Yeah, so I've used that much, but about that much, not a lot, quarter of a bowl of the vermicelli noodles. Right, so I've just added more flour, more flour and water. So you want to get like a, something like this. Like a thin consistency. Make sure you've got a whisk so there's no lumps in it. And then you want to have this sort of consistency. So it's a lot lighter now that you've put in. It's not so thin as well. It's a bit thicker since you put the um, the flour, the corn flour, whatever. Just to just thicken it. And the noodles... The little vermicelli noodles are cooked. Everything's cooked. And now you can see that lovely, hearty, wholesome soup that will really fill you up, keep you going. Have it with bread. Have it with anything. And that is Moroccan harina. Right. I'm waiting for it to cool down. I have done the taste test. And it is divine. So I definitely recommend any one of you to try it out. It's not hard. Um, it's beautiful Moroccan wholesome food that will um, really fill you up as well. So let's give it a try. Bismillah, it's gonna it's gonna burn my my uh, mouth. Oh my god, this is so good. Mmm, mmm. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe downstairs, downstairs if you liked it. CCTV. This is CC, CC food. This is CC, CC TV food. CC, CC TV. Follow me, I'ma teach you how to cook with rockin'. Not no, no, very hard, you just gotta follow the instructions. CC, CC TV food. CC, CC TV.